Okay guys, so you asked and I listened, you guys asked me to make some um, liquid soap. This is going to be the first soap that I'm going to make and this is going, we're actually going to do this live in a class and if you are in the Patreon, um, you'll get the full recipe to this and also you'll have a free access pass to this live class where we all will be making this uh, soap together, okay? And I believe it's like next week, if I ain't mistaken. Well, anyway, if you're on Patreon, you already got the Zoom link and I will see you there. Anyway, guys, I wanted to do this particular soap um, the hot process way because it's the most cheapest way to make liquid soap. Um, the other way we can make liquid soap is by combining um, a bunch of things and I'm going to make that over the weekend. But this one is the most cheapest way because you can get so much out of just one batch. Like if you think about it, um, because what you do is we're about to make a paste. And after we make that paste, you dilute that paste and you use as much as you want to. Of course, like let's say um, we got a, a paste and we take about an ounce out. You could put about four ounces of water to that one ounce of paste. So you really get a whole lot more out of hot process soap versus the other one where you mix the glycerin and the, you know, all of the other little fancy stuff that you put in. It costs a lot to make. So this is what I really want to teach y'all because I always like to teach y'all the cheaper way to go. Um, and I love liquid soap, the hot process way. It's so simple. Don't take long. So what you're going to need is a nice big stainless steel pot, just like you would use if you was making some, um, hot process soap. You're going to need potassium hydroxide guys, not lie. We're not using sodium hydroxide. We're using potassium hydroxide. Uh, you want to make sure it's 90% and up, um, some of them are less. So I just wanted to put that out there. We're going to be using some castor oil. We're going to be using some olive oil. Um, we are going to be using some distilled water. You need to make sure that it is distilled water because you cannot use anything else besides distilled water. That's very important for me to tell you guys. So if you got to boil some water on the stove, then that's what you got to do. But either way around, you need distilled water. So make sure you have a spatula because you're definitely going to need it for this. Um, and also a spoon. You're going to need an airtight container to store your port, your paste in. If you're making it all at once and you're diluting it all at once, you won't need that. But <laughs> you will need an airtight container because you're not going to want to make all of that soap at one time. I guarantee you. All right. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay guys, so we have everything inside the pot. We have our olive oil, castor oil, and coconut oil. Now we're going to go ahead and add our lye to our water. And that is our distilled water. And we're going to add it to the pot just like it is when we're making homemade soap. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I drop it in here low so there won't be any splashes. Definitely don't want it to splash on me. Because it's still lye. Even though it's not the lye that we use for soap, it's still a form of lye. Okay? So now what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and grab your stick blender, aka your hand mixer. And you want to go ahead and start mixing this in. So Okay, so I don't want to burn out my hand blender, so I just want to give it a, a nice little break. So what you're noticing is it's rising up like dough, and that's what you want it to do. And you're going to notice that um, it has some bubbles in it. As you go along and do this, because I'm going to cut my heat down just a little bit because I don't want it to cook um, too, too hot. So I'm going cut to cut my heat down just a little bit because I had it up on like four, but I'm turning it down to like maybe two. Um, cause I, I just wanted to get it going. It wasn't going anywhere. It was just taking forever. Okay. So you want to make sure you're cleaning up the sides of your pot. 
because if you don't, you'll have cloudy liquid soap in the end and you want it to be clear so you don't want the lye and everything just sitting on the side of the pot okay so as you can see it's rising up just like it would if we was making a hot processed soap and that's completely normal so you just go ahead and just stir it because it's now it's hard now you can just take it off the heat take it off the heat okay i'm gonna take it off the heat because if i don't it's going to burn okay so you just go ahead and stir it and it's thickened up like a paste. Okay. It's thickened up a whole lot. <laughs> to the point where it's just going to be really hard to stir. Okay. So I'm just stirring mine. Took it off the heat. Okay. And. I'm just going to keep stirring it. Because mine is really, really hot. And. I'm probably going to keep it on low and just put the top on and let it cook out that way. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let it, you know, kind of cook out that way because I want it to look like, like a real paste. You know, you want it to be thick like the way it is right now, but I can also tell that it's still some lye in it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and mash it a little bit, mash down on it. Okay, and my eye, my palette is kind of cooling down what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the top on it and just leave it for a few minutes and let it just kind of finish up uh, cooking. Okay, and that's just basically making sure that it's all the way finished all throughout the batch because you wanted it to turn into paste. It's in the right place, but you want to make sure that it's all the way cooked. Okay, so I transferred it to a cleaner pot. It's easy to do that because it's paste. I did not want to have that pot um, with all of that white stuff all around it because I did not want that to go. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but yeah, like that white stuff. I did not want that going inside of my final paste because it can actually turn into a very cloudy soap and that's not what we want we want a nice golden soap okay we don't want it being too cloudy so you can look at it you can open it up and look at it and you can see that it's a nice beautiful paste okay so we have a lot of paste in here i mean this is a lot this can make a lot of soap so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to weigh out some paste because we're going to store some of this in an airtight container and we're going to weigh out some of it um, so we can make some soap out of it okay we're going to make some liquid soap today so i'm going to go ahead and grab me a container i have my and i'm going to move this down just a little bit kind of back it up so you guys can see okay all right, that's a lot better. Okay, so I have my airtight container. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some paste in here. You can store this paste for a very long time. <laughs> I don't even know if paste have an expiration date, but you know, I would store mine for at least six months if I wanted to, you know, if not longer, you know. So, you know, the choice is up to you how long you actually want to store it for. But I'm gonna go ahead and take mine and you know, you just put it in a cool place and that's it. So I'm not going to put a top on mine yet. I want it to cool down just a little bit more because I don't want it to have any condensation in there. I add my water to the pot. Okay, so I went ahead and I diluted this with water. Um, now, how did you dilute this with water? Like how much did you put in there? I'm like kind of breaking this up so I can sit. Now, listen, when it comes down to dilution to basically dilute this you don't have to um, put it on the stove and do what i'm doing because i'm getting ready to put mine on the stove and turn it on really warm just to get it to cook a little bit quicker you don't have to do it this way but i'm doing it this way because i'm a little impatient and i don't want to sit around and put it inside of a bowl and just let it sit into it uh dissolve okay so i'm just breaking up these little pieces okay so let me tell y'all a little bit about this dilution thing so y'all can know and y'all can be fully aware okay all right so when it comes down to the dilution rate this is what you want to do 
you want to do a one to one ratio or you could do a one to 1.5 ratio. So one to one and a half ratio. So basically if I have about 300 grams of paste, I can do 300 grams of water or I can do a 1.5, uh, which would be, um, it will be what? 300 and then it would be half that's 150 so that's what that's 450 grams of water you can do it that way um either way around it may sound like very confusing while i'm explaining it to you if you are coming to the class or you are um, getting a recipe out of patreon i'm going to make sure you guys have exactly what you need um, just because some people just won't understand that okay i'm going to make sure you guys have exactly what you need how many grams you know so you can know each time how much you make in how much to dilute it with and so on and so forth okay so i have went ahead and um broke up that big old clump -a lump lump and i'm just going to clean off my spatula because honey we don't waste it's zero waste around here, okay? <laughs> so I'll clean off my spatula, put this inside the pot, and I'm going to put it on extremely low. If you have a crock pot, you can go ahead and shake it fast, watch yourself, do some dancing around the house, and come back to it. The crock pot is fine, but make sure that if you are putting it on the stove, that you have it on really low, and you know you just monitor it and don't let it boil and burn, okay? So we're gonna just go ahead and just leave it on for a while and we're gonna come back and when we come back, everything should be gone when it's the final product, when it, when we are down to the final product, okay? You should have no more lumps in here. All right, so we're gonna cover this up and be patient because I know you are very impatient and we're gonna come back to it, okay? All right. I wanna show you guys my paste. Because, you know, I'm getting a lot of questions about paste. I put this in a group and they're like, oh, where can I buy the paste? And I'm like, we're not buying paste, we're making paste. So this is the paste that we made um, from the hot process soap. You know, when we finished cooking it, you know, of course we had to dilute this paste. But this is the paste, it's very soft, um, it's golden, you know. And so... Uh, we just pretty much just store this in an airtight container and whenever we want to make more body wash we just take it and dilute it you know based on how many grams it is you know we went over that already but anyway um, what we're going to do is because as you can see this is pretty thin you know and we don't want it to be watery now you can use it like this if you putting it inside of like hand soap and a pump bottle you know that's completely normal you can do that but in our case, we're making body wash and we want it to be a little bit thicker. So um, the way we're going to make this thicker is we're going to take some distilled water. Um, we're going to take 80 grams of distilled water and we're going to take 20 grams of salt. And we're going to put it inside of this and we're going to thicken it up that way. Um, and we're going to leave it sit. When you do it, you're going to... Okay, so, <laughs> all right guys, so this is a lot of body wash, so I ended up just filling up a big old um, 16 ounce bottle of it, because <laughs> I'm like, it's so much that I wanted to just fill up a big bottle just to get this a little bit more lighter so I can fill this up. So I'm going to go ahead and pour into this 8 ounce bottle. And I have about three 8 ounce bottles that I'm going to fill. But I know I have a lot. <laughs> I was like, I need to make sure that I use some 16 ounce bottles just to store it. Okay. So I want to fill it to right there. I don't want to overfill it. And we're going to go ahead and fill up the next one. I definitely love this green. <laughs> This green is really pretty so you guys know that for this recipe you're going to have to color it if you don't want it to be that that deep yellow but I am going to provide you guys with um, two recipes just to try out to see if you can get it to be a little bit more clear 
okay so i did the best i can do to get it clear and it just didn't work so i just think this this recipe is just yellow and that's what i think okay now i did overfill this one just a little bit so i'm just gonna pour a little out of this one and it's really thick you guys see it pouring in there so I didn't want to add any more salt to it I felt like a, I had enough salt but you always can thicken it up a little bit more you don't have to use um, you know you you could just choose how thick you want it to be not too much salt but you could use a little bit more just to um, thicken it up if you wasn't fully satisfied with how thick it was now guys look I'm about to fill up this 8 ounce and I still got some left. So I'm going to have to get me another bottle. I believe we will. <laughs> Definitely believe that we will. We have just enough to fill up this 8 ounce bottle. I'm just kind of scraping the bowl to get all of it out. Yep, we have just enough to fill up this 8 ounce bottle. So, from this particular recipe, just a, I remember we didn't use the whole recipe. Let's not forget that part. Let's, let's not leave out the good part. <laughs> we only took a little bit of the paste. So, by us taking a little bit of the paste and doing it, uh, what just those, a little bit amount. Okay, hold on. Okay, so by us using that little bit of paste, okay, we did not use all of our paste, remember, we got about um, one, two, three, four, we got six bottles from that little tiny bit of paste, okay, six bottles of our beautiful body wash, okay, it's beautiful. And so I have this in a 16 ounce bottle, so I counted this as two because it's full to the top. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm just going to go ahead and top off my two right here. Just to make sure they're full. Okay guys, so these are our final bottles. Okay, this is how they look. Nice, very nice. I like them. Okay. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and put some labels on them. And um, also, we're getting ready to go ahead and do a demo because I want you guys to see how this foam up and, you know, just how it looks when I run it underwater.